I'm Mika and the title of my EPQ is Sustainable Living and Architectural Portfolio. So I decided to create an architectural portfolio where I go through the design of a co-living space that I chose to design in South Africa. Uh, I chose to use shipping containers and through this portfolio I take the viewer through a journey and just talk through the decisions that I made and what I chose to include and exclude in my design. Um, I'm planning to study architecture after school and I've never actually designed a building before this so I think the problem with architecture is like a lot of the time before students apply for architecture we admire architecture but we never actually design a building so I just chose to do this as my EPQ because I wanted to use it as a test run before applying for architecture. The most challenging part for me uh, when completing the EPQ was not becoming overwhelmed because it's such a big project and it stretches over two years so that was probably the hardest part for me. I've learned a lot of things but probably the biggest thing that I took away from the EPQ was goal setting because it's such a big project you actually have to like break it up into smaller chunks in order to accomplish these smaller goals because I've never done anything on a large scale like this before and I think a lot of students my age we've only gone to school where teachers have kind of done the goal setting for you through homeworks and tests so the EPQ is really a place where you get to learn and experiment what works for you when you want to accomplish something big which is a, a good skill to learn for after school because nobody's going to help you you kind of have to do everything by yourself so this is kind of like you have people who help you and who can support you but at the end of the day you have to be able to produce such a big project like the EPQ. Yes I would because the EPQ made me fall in love with studying actually. Before this I feel like students just go through the motions but because it's something that you choose to do it's something that you love and you really get consumed within it. It's really it kind of changed my outlook on learning and school in general so I would definitely suggest to other students to do it too but this is the only thing that I've learned like I talk to other people and they've learned a whole other range of skills so honestly do it see what you learn see what you do like it's it's just, it's just a journey so I'd say you should do it.